Good day. Today I'm gonna to talk about Mac Max Fury Road Fat. You might not know what made me a sort of an expert about Mac Max Fury Road. Well, it's about I saw it twice in IMAX 3D and many times in my home. Um, I have read the comics. Um, I have read a lot of George Miller, the director, interviews in YouTube. So I want to explain in this short video quite a few things. The first sequence to my mind is very simple. It's about Australian slam using the movie. And there are two particular icons to my mind. One is Fange, which is used uh, by Imperator Furiosa and um, by any other uh, characters in the movie. It means accelerate, go faster here in Australia as a slam. The other is Black Tongue, which is like Nux is, is a Black Tongue. It means a mechanic. Okay. Other question I think why the vision joy is called immortal. Well, that comes from the comics. And it's because when he took a citadel from the previous can, in the process, he looks like he was dead. Uh, it was uh, like two uh, war parties, one taken to citadel and one left behind, guarding the motorbikes. And the ones left behind, they saw that they, they fell and that they were dead. And suddenly, Joy came out victorious. Um, the people underneath start calling him Immortan, Immortan, because he's, they thought he came back from the dead. Or Imperator Furiosa, why she's called Imper Imperator? Well, Imperator is a Latin work used in Roman Republic. Uh, it means commander, so Imperator Furiosa just means he was one of the trusted commanders of Immortan Joy. The other thing is, why use all cards like this, in the most famous the Interceptor? Well, according to George Miller in his interviews, he said that uh, a newer car, every car who has a computer will have not survived the apocalypse. So only all cards that didn't have computers uh, survived. And that's the reason you only see all cards in the movie. Why it only seems uh, a chase car. I received so, such a rave reviews in Rotten Tomatoes and the critics. Most of them agree it's a complete cinematic experience. It has a, a, a rather entertaining uh, story, intense action scenes, but also uh, deals with serious themes such as sex slavery. Um, uh, redemption in a very nuanced way it has a gorgeous cinematography. Visual poetry for me. Examples are when uh, this dark night, every time it has a lamp, this combination of dark blue and, and yellow was also particularly a romantic scene. Or, a cozy scene between Knox and Capable Furiosa knows that the green place doesn't exist anymore. That was very poignant. A scene which is, it was augmented by the visuals of the there's desert behind by this previous Oscar winner, John Seal visuals. The score by Junkie XL, he was very good. Particular John Miller, uh, G George Miller didn't want any music. He only wants the the, the music. What he called for coming from the cards, and also like the Duff Warrior, 
the riff of the guitar of the tough warrior um, and the drummers in the back so it, it, it took a while to, to, to be convinced to have music and for that the music has to be very good which it was I also think uh, like the acting was very good Tom Hardy did an okay job as Mac Max he has this Mac Max has a more mess up uh, mind like the character that Mel Gibson play but it still looks more experienced and savvy in the West land but nobody doubt that Imperator Furiosa played by Charlie Ch Chiron uh, is the one who propelled the story um, Charlie's played in a very larger way where you can see a strong warrior but she's also compassionate and you can see uh, why because uh, while she was a child was raised by this tribe called the Buvaline which has many mothers in it and the most quote uh, memorable quotes are given by a character Nax played by uh, Nicholas Holt you know, oh, what a day, what a lovely day. Anyway, I have seen, read a wealth of information about this movie. If you have a different question or you want, I explain myself further with the ones I have brought up here, please leave a comment down below. Until next time.